Well, Roley Romero stated on IG that he waiting on Devin Haney to sign the contract. So have you received the contract? I haven't received nothing. I called over to his team to see was I supposed to be expecting something. And uh, they didn't know anything about any contract being sent over on the behalf of, of Roly Romero. I talked to his uh, manager and, uh, and I talked to uh, Mayweather Promotions. And no one has sent out a contract to Devin to look over or anything like that. So that's completely false. Wow. So you actually reached out to TMT and you heard otherwise that they have not sent anything yet. Uh, right. So, what's your take on Roly Romero trolling Devin Haney on IG by claiming that he his daddy and staying silly stuff like that instead of accepting to fight? That's just what it is. It's silliness. I don't think he can top the shit that he's already said before to make us uh, want to fight anymore. So, right now, I think it's just rhetoric. I don't even think that he's asked his team for the fight, let alone sent over anything for us to review or to sign. Roly is still missing. He's saying the daughter shit and daddy and all that, man. Me and Devin, we don't pay attention to that shit, man. We thought that he really wanted to fight. So Dev reached out to Floyd to make the fight happen. Let me know if you find Roly and, and, he's, and he's talking like he got some sense. You know what I'm saying? If that's the Roly that we've been looking for, then check him into uh, what's that spot? Happen? Is that, is that where the J-Cats go to? J-Cats go to Napa, right? Yeah, Napa. Yeah. That guy needs to go to Napa. And with a real Roly, the Roly that was asking for the fight, will he come out? Because they got a fake Roly on the loose that needs to be put in Napa. We need to see the real Roly Romero. Where is he at? The guy that was looking for a fight. Not the guy that wants to troll his came out. We got a troll that looks like Roly Romero doing fake T-shirts and shit. With a real Roly Romero, the one that was talking shit that wanted to fight, and that squeaky-ass voice, he said, Devin should fight him, and they're looking to fight next. So that's the guy we're looking for, and we ain't found him. We ain't seen him. Have you seen him, bro? I would assume Devin would have found him. I know Devin was out there looking for him. So the real Roly, we need you to stand up. We need the yep. real Roly to stand up. It's a clone copy that needs to be picked up by the people and taken to the nearest mental hospital. Roly situation. You don't call out somebody the way he did. Call him the biggest B-word in the world and say the things he said about Devin. And then as soon as Devin hit up Floyd, his whole demeanor changed. His whole energy changed. Just yesterday, he was calling Devin Haney a phony, a fake, a punk, a B-word. Man, you name it. The moment Devin Haney pulled his plug, the moment Devin Haney called his bluff, you see him backpedaling. Now he's missing. Now, we're not saying he's missing because he's not on social media anymore. No, that's not what we're saying. He's missing because he's saying anything and everything but let's fight. As soon as Devin Haney signed to fight somebody, everybody opened their mouth. Everybody got something to say. But when he's available and looking for an opponent, for a victim, you see everybody quiet. You don't hear Roley, the loudest one in the room, the loudest mouth in the room. You hear him silent as a church mouse. Roly remind me of a dog that continues to bark, but he won't bite. He won't do no biting. As soon as the cage open, he stays in the cage. He won't even come out of the cage. When the cage is closed, he stay barking. And as soon as the cage open, he won't even leave the cage. But when the cage is closed, he barks like he's finna do something. And that's exactly what Roly does. He barks, barks, barks. When Devin Haney gave Floyd Mayweather the key to open the cage, Roly stayed in the cage. He won't come out of the cage. This man is missing right now. So and he say everything and anything but let's fight. Devin Haney is waiting on Roly to accept the fight. And he will say anything and lie. He even lied. That's what shocks me is when he says, I'm waiting on Devin Haney to sign the contract. I automatically knew it was some BS before I even hit up Bill Haney, as you guys seen. Because, you know, in the sport of boxing, you don't just send the contract. You negotiate the terms back and forth. Once the terms are agreed with, then you write a contract and you send the contract. So that's the new way of ducking is send the contract. You heard Keith Thurman say that about Errol Spence. He said, I never ducked Errol Spence. I never seen a contract. Yeah, because you told Al Heyman you don't want the fight from day one. So why will Al Heyman present a contract to you if you already said no to the fight? You're not ready. He said on air. So that's the new way of ducking.
oh, send me a contract. Then you tell your team when Devin Haney hits you up, you say we weighing out our options. Say we looking at other fights. That's what Jojo Diaz did. Jojo Diaz tells Devin Haney on Twitter, let's fight on November. They agreed on a date. And when Devin Haney follows up on that, Bill Haney contacts Jojo Diaz team three times on three different occasions. They all tell him, we still weighing out our options. But Jojo told Bill on live that the only fight he wants and the only person he's going to fight next is Devin Haney. So that's what I'm saying. The new trend in boxing is capping. It's a capdemic in the sport of boxing today. We have a pandemic, capdemic, duckdemic, you name it. I mean, we've seen it with Gary Russell. When Devin Haney sent him a term sheet with every single request he demanded, guess what Gary Russell said? Oh, no, no, I'm going to send you my own term sheet. Guess what? He haven't sent that term sheet to the this day. Day, day, day. That term sheet haven't arrived. You heard Teofimo Lopez say the same thing. I'm going to send composers a contract. I'm going to send Devin Haney a contract. And whoever get back with me first and sign it, then that's who I'm going to be fighting. Guess what? He never sends a contract. Even Bob Arum laughed at, at T.O. Cap in the line. To hear it. The end of April, beginning of May, is my fight day. Well, my fight month. Guess who? We're in the works of it. We're going to throw contracts at Devin. We're going to throw contracts at, at Combosis. Whatever we get back with, as long as we find a medium, we all agree on the terms, then that's your fight. They're all going to know. Why you think Devin said April? Everything's already falling into place, ladies and gents. Y'all just got to wait. Y'all so impatient. It's going to come. All of it's going to come. Y'all just got to be patient with it. These things don't take, these things don't come overnight. You see T.O. lies in public. You see Gary Russell don't follow up in public. And now you see JoJo do the same thing. And guess what? Now Roley picked up on the trend. So this is what's ruining the sport of boxing is when you see Ryan Garcia tell Oscar De La Hoya and Canelo Alvarez, hold me back, hold me back, and call out tank, 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 while he's telling his team to hold him back. Then pulls anxiety when he becomes Devin Haney mandatory. You see, all these fighters from champions to mandatories of Devin Haney, they pull the same plug. So this is what's really ruining the reputation of the sport of boxing and putting a black eye on the sport as a whole is all this trolling, all this talking and no action. The fact that we're not getting the fights that we're supposed to is the reason why we end up with Jake Paul versus Woodley. And that's a, the biggest fight of the year. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul. That ended up being the biggest fight of the year. So that's why YouTubers are taking over. Because the real fighters won't fight each other. Man, I'm telling you guys, Jake Paul got more cojones than Roley. Because Jake Paul would troll Conor McGregor, but guess what? He sent Conor McGregor $50 million offer to fight. Meanwhile, Roley, he will call out Devin, call him the biggest B-word in the world. And as soon as Devin Haney hit up his team, Floyd Mayweather, and gets his approval, guess what Roley says? Devin Haney is irrelevant. He's on the bottom of the food chain. When Devin Haney made 24 times what Roley made his last fight, Devin Haney made three million plus. Meanwhile, Roley made one hundred twenty-five thousand. Devin Haney a champion, Roley is not. Devin Haney a main even fighter, Roley is not. So that's what's crazy about the sport of boxing is when we have challengers avoiding the biggest opportunity of their career. It's mind blowing to say the least. And shout out to OG Swag, my Aki always blessing me every single time. The OG in the game, the OG in the chat. A1, day one, shout out to OG, blessing me, like I said, every single time, man. I really appreciate you. So that's what's really wrong in the sport of boxing. Uh, what's your take on that? I just say to hell with you, man. Like, you know, like you're making Cubans look bad. And, you know, this is coming from, like, you know, uh, coming from a black uh, Puerto Rican. And, you know, like, I don't understand why you would talk all this mess and now you just created, you know, the biggest drama in boxing history. <laughs> so, Roley, you know, if you're listening, fight Devin, fight Jose Valenzuela, you know, get that ass beat and take it like a man, dude. Uh, that's it. I want that WBC belt for Devin Haney. That's what I want. I want it. R Roley Jr. needs a sister. Her name's Angelica Jr. It's that green belt. Name me after my actual sister. Oh, Devin Haney. 
fake ass Mexico ass female ass champion. Daddy bought his career. Daddy bought him and went in Mexico that they raised the other mucker's hand. So y'all can all go. Any is the biggest. Not just at 135 in boxing. So don't give me that. Sh Devin Haney is the biggest in boxing. If I'm so easy, fight me and whoop my ass. But no, because he knows he's a chinny, frail ass little. Hey, sir, how are you? Hey, John. Yes, sir. How are you? Listen, I, I got. I got, I got us, I got us live. So you're on the speakerphone. We're on the, we're on the Boxing Voice podcast. And uh, um, listen, do you mind, do you mind calling uh, Leonard Ellerby about uh, a fight with, uh, with Roly Romero? Um, give him a call. Devin has talked to Floyd via text, and uh, he confirmed that Roly um, might be available. And of course, you know we're we're available too. To do something uh, uh, with him, can you can you just give him a talk and let's let's see if we can pursue it with Ellie? I think the reach out would be to Leonard, but also Al Heyman is his manager, so I think that there's you know two people that need to be talked to, and then primarily Al because I think that that's where the the rubber hits the road. Okay. So, but if it's a proposition that's out there and makes sense, I'm sure they'd be willing to take a look at it. Okay. Well, good. Can you can you can you uh, can you reach out to both you know Leonard Allerby and what's name, and then just you know as as a follow up from Floyd and Devin Texan back and forth about it, and Floyd said yes. Okay. All right. Yep. Thanks, my brother. Peace. Thank you. Right, cool. Sit this on time, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's the that's the that's the this the new this the new shirts coming out. Yes, sir, Ski. Wow. We about to have a million of these That's crazy. I'm I'm trying to find him. I've been you've been looking for him because I've been looking for him. Searching. Rolly. Rolly. Hey, Ro Rolly, where you at? Oh, he's not over there.